If you and I were to run into each other on the street and I were to ask, who are you? Your immediate reply would likely be your name. Consider for your moment, is your name you? Does it define you in all your complexity, the depth of your desires, the range of your emotions, the strength of your convictions? Does your name explain all the subtleties of who you are, where you've been, what you've done, and what you're about? Not likely. Introductions are usually by name, sometimes by relationship, John's brother, Julie's sister, and so on. The next question typically is, what do you do? The normal reply is the person's most important role. I'm an accountant, a truck driver, a teacher, a real estate agent, a doctor, a lawyer, a chimney sweep, a mom. Are people really the roles they play? Who are you? What do you do? Do the roles you play define you completely and accurately? How about the labels ascribed to you? Not likely. Now consider this. Are you your thoughts? 2 plus 2 equals fill in the blank. Is the mathematical thought that crossed your brain you? When you're sitting comfortably in your car cruising down an abandoned stretch of highway, you can clearly distinguish between yourself and the sounds blaring from your radio. You would not say you are the music. Similarly, you can distinguish in your mind a you separate and distinct from the sounds, images, and ideas that clutter and flit across your gray matter. Your thoughts, though intimately close, are separate from you. You are not what you think. You are not a label, a role, an emotion, or a feeling. You are not your body, but rather you're something connected, something whole and complete, something divine. You are safe and secure and ultimately powerful. You are so much more than you think. I'm Scott Parody with Success 101 Workshop. Till next time, all the best.